so it's gonna take some time for everything to go back to normal. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a one month postpartum update as well as a one month baby update. So I am letting it all out, telling you what to expect and what really happens during the first month with a newborn. All right guys, real quick, if you are new, my name is Tiffany. I am a 30 year old mom to a two and a half year old little girl named Aria. And I just had baby boy named Ezra on May 4th. If you are here just to see my information and what I'm going through postpartum, I will go ahead and put a timestamp in the comments below so just click on that blue timestamp and it'll jump you ahead in the video to right where I talk about for me postpartum but I am gonna talk about baby first okay so I have notes because I'm a rambler and I'll just start talking like crazy so hopefully this keeps me on track and I'm not all over the place we haven't had a one-month appointment we just did his two-week appointment and then he doesn't see his doctor again until his two-month appointment um, I don't have like up-to-date information I just have like estimated it when it comes to his like vitals but we'll talk about his hair first he had so much hair just like my daughter did when they were first born and his hair was super dark. I believe their hair color is the exact same. My husband thinks his is almost a black. I just think his hair is like a dark brown but he is starting to lose his baby hair and it's the funniest thing because it's like up top so he looks like a balding old man especially because it's like a receding hairline too. It's just so funny. With my daughter she lost it on the side so she has this little like mohawk thing going on. Like I don't know my kids are just funny when they lose their hair. And then as far as his hair texture um I can't really tell. It doesn't look curly. I had super curly hair when I was born and my mom said it was almost like a sandy like brownish blonde color and then when my baby hair fell out it grew back darker but I still had curls. He seems to have my texture as far as it being thicker than my husband but his hair seems to be more straight. So if anything he's probably going to have wavy hair. I don't think he'll have like curls or anything like that. Okay the next topic is going to be his eye color. My husband has like greenish blue eyes but his eyes lean more towards green. My daughter has has blue eyes so my grandmother has like crystal blue like sky blue eyes and so my daughter like takes after her I of course just have brown eyes so we were always curious to see what his eye color was gonna be they're not blue like my daughter's were so I don't think they're gonna be as blue as hers his eyes are very gray right now but they're lightening up and so he does start to have like more specks of blue in them but he still has like a greenish tint so for weight he was born at 7 9 he lost less than 7% when we left the hospital so he was at 7.3. When we did his 48 hour checkup, he was at 7.1. So he barely lost anything. Now he's at 8.8. .8. So almost a full pound in the month. I and mean, he wakes up right when we're going to talk about sleeping patterns. <laughs> Okay, so during the day, I feel like he sleeps a lot, but he's also awake a lot. So he'll be awake for a good like 30 to almost 45 minutes um, at a time, which is amazing because his first few weeks he was just sleeping like nonstop and he would only be awake for about five minutes just to like get changed and snack a little and then go right back to sleep. So now that he's awake for almost an hour at a time throughout the day, um, his sleep at night is getting a little bit better. I did post our nighttime routine video, um, so I'll link that if you guys are curious to see like what we do at night. He falls asleep around like 7.30 is the time like he's in bed. He will sleep like that entire time until around 9 30 or 10 o'clock which is normally the time like I want to head to bed he wants to wake up and then he wakes up again um, around 2 and then for the day he wakes up between 5 30 and 6 sorry if I'm hunched over I'm currently feeding him right now so that's why it looks weird <laughs> which brings me up to eating I did not plan like this I just have my notes in order it's so funny but he eats all the time um, he is a little like hunger monster I do try to nurse him as much as possible but um I do have an oversupply and a heavy letdown which does cause choking and a ton of spit up. He constantly like spits up after he eats. So if I just notice he's having a really bad time um, or a hard day when it comes to nursing, I will just switch to a bottle. So current milestones and I'm so surprised he like reached these already. So when he was born they handed him to me and he was lifting his hat already so that was like immediate but he is getting better at like holding his head up for longer. I got video the other day of like him like staring at Eric. It was so cute and then um, we do tummy time with him so he'll like lift his head for tummy time but 
when I was doing it yesterday, he started to roll over. And it's not like controlled rolling. He like sits up and then he just kind of leans his body and it's almost like he falls, but he doesn't hurt himself. He's already trying to stand. <laughs> He's rolling from tummy to back and then he can lift his head so that's pretty much the milestones oh and then when it comes to like eyesight he's definitely staring at us longer and yesterday he heard Eric like walk towards me and he like turned his head and looked at Eric just some little details that I wrote down so he's a huge mama's boy he just wants to like touch me constantly and be in contact with me. We don't really do skin to skin that often anymore. I do a lot of baby wearing though. He hates baths. Um, he hates car rides. Like he will, I mean, he doesn't scream the whole time, but he cries for a good like minute or two in the backseat and then he eventually stops. And then he is out of newborn diapers like it's official his clothing I just got him like newborn sleepers they're starting to like pull down on his shoulders so I think we're gonna go to zero to three months it's just crazy because like a week ago his newborns were fitting perfectly and the zero to three months were super big now he's in zero to three months like I think the onesie he's wearing right now is a zero to three month and it's like it was big last week so and then he is still sleeping in our room we do try to put him in his like pack and play as much as possible there are a few nights like I just get tired of going to the pack and play and because he grunts so much he just spit up on me hold on <laughs> that happens so often and whenever it happens it literally just trails right down my shirt into the bra so what was I saying I know there's a lot of people who are against co-sleeping but it's really natural and I'm super aware of like what's going on but I think that's it for baby so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to postpartum for me everyone like always wants to know about weight loss so I weighed in at 185.9 um, before I gave birth to him I am now at 163 so a little over 20 pounds I'm not on any particular diet although today at the grocery store I did shop I guess healthier so a lot of fruits veggies I'm gonna start doing like shakes. I am very proud of my body. When I say like on Instagram, I said I was ashamed of the way my body looked or of my own body, but I'm proud and I'm very all about like body positivity and I will be the first person to compliment like another woman. I just have so much excess skin and it like flaps over and I just, I don't like in clothes that hug everything in like yoga pants and things like that. Like I feel great, but <laughs> as soon as the clothes like come off or it's going to take me a while. Like I just don't feel like confident in my body right now and I know I'll get there and I am very proud of what I've accomplished and I raised or I grew two babies, you know, obviously in what two years. So it's going to take some time <laughs> for everything to go back to normal. Um, and I didn't fully recover with Aria either. So that was probably like the problem and I wasn't like, I'm not taking the best care of my skin right now just because of how busy I am so as far as like lotion so I have a ton of stretch marks um, I still have that like dark line down the center of my belly um, my belly button area is just like wrecked <laughs> so <laughs> it's like not cute I don't know I'm not upset like I'm happy that I'm losing weight I'm happy with where I'm at it's just that excess skin like I can grab and it feels like a tire around me like it's just not I'm not comfortable with it. Okay, so as far as my recovery goes, recovery was super easy this time around. I had the worst recovery after my daughter. Like, I consistently bled for about 14 weeks. I just, I was in so much pain afterwards. So this time, I didn't do any type of medication. Um, I did no epidural the first time, but I had the fentanyl, like, medication drip. And I think that played a part in it. So this time, I had nothing. The recovery has been so amazing, and it's gotten to the point where... I wish I would have gone like completely drug free the first time too. So for the first three days, I was a little bit sore, but I could walk just fine. I did take it easy the very first week. My in-laws were in town, so they made sure they were helping with Aria and the baby and my father-in-law like took care of dinner. So I think that first week of just like sitting down really did help. I didn't really have cramping until like that very next week. I don't know why my cramping was delayed, but when it hit me, like it was a good 24 hours, like the cramping was really bad but it went away pretty fast when it came to bleeding it was really light even when I left the hospital the nurses were saying how light it was and so I didn't really have problems with bleeding this time and right now it's gone to a point where I go a few days to almost a full week um this past week I almost like went pad free and that morning I woke up and <laughs> there was like light like spotting and so I'm so glad I didn't do it also to this past couple of days I've had um, like a mucusy discharge and it's 
Nothing to be concerned about. I guess it's normal. It's your like lining continuing to shed. But what confused me is there was no like blood in it at all. And it was almost like I was losing my mucus plug again. That's like the consistency that it was in the best way I can explain it. I was prescribed ibuprofen and Motrin together. So I took two Motrins and one ibuprofen as needed. It's the same thing they were giving to me at the hospital. I'm no longer doing that for like cramping or pain. I've had the worst pain in my back and like shoulder area. And I think it's because I hold him on this side. Like right now his head's right here. And so I think just the extra weight and like the shoulder um, positioning and stuff is just hurting. So I do take it for that. There's a couple of days I skipped my stool softener and I'm paying for it <laughs> this week. So especially because I have to take iron pills and that causes like constipation and stuff. Take the stool softeners as long as you need to take them. As far as my mental health goes, so I did have postpartum depression, anxiety after my daughter. For the first three months, especially the first time mom, you're kind of in a daze and a fog. Like you're tired. You don't really know what's going on. You're trying to learn how to take care of a baby because there's no manual on how to do this. There's just a lot of emotions and feelings and so I went those three months and there was just one day like I broke and it was the worst day ever. Mental health is such a stigma, um, but I think if we spoke up about it more, we would all be in a better place. You know, I still feel like doctors should treat it better and it's not a whole like one pill fits all type of thing. I do like mental health check-ins every day to see like how am I feeling. If I'm not feeling that well, I'll speak up to my husband like the other day. I was like, I just, I need more help. And he was like, okay. <laughs> I didn't really know how to tell him. I didn't want to be like, can we talk? I just, I needed that at that moment. And it was literally in the middle of the day we were having a conversation. I was like, I just need more help. There are the occasional days where I'm just kind of irritated or I just feel like there's a lot on my plate plate and that's normally because I just take on too much. I guess the best advice like I said is just really check in on yourself every day to see how you're feeling. If you're stressed out you know speak up on it. Don't be afraid like that was the first mistake I did the first time is I was afraid to talk because I did not want to be medicated and so I, I felt if I said I was struggling they were gonna like I don't know think I was a bad mom and try to like medicate me don't be afraid to say you're struggling or like you're not feeling the best or whatever the case is you just had a baby you're going through a lot of emotions and like I said the first three months like that fourth trimester hormones are starting to like try to regulate again and it can cause a ton of extra emotions you know you're doing a lot of baby wearing a lot of us want to jump right back into our regular routines and you can't there's just so much going on and I will always speak on mental health um, because I mean in my family there is bipolar and depression and so I've seen it all and I've seen what mental you know health does and being diagnosed wrong and things like that and so I will always be the first to be like speak up on it don't be afraid like break the stigma it's okay you're not failing if you need help it doesn't matter if you need meds if you don't need meds if you need therapy if you just need a friend to talk to if you just need like two hours every day to yourself to go like hide in the bathroom like it doesn't matter what you need just talk to someone about it that's like my little side note on mental health but overall I'm doing great as far as me sleeping I had a really bad sleep schedule anyways like I go to bed way too late <laughs> for everything that I do and I wake up way too early so I just need to figure out like a time to like go to bed earlier. I have been waking up in the middle of the night in like night sweats where I'm like drenched and I don't know if that has something to do with me breastfeeding or just like the postpartum hormones or whatever it is but other than that like I sleep pretty well and then a lot of you always want to know how Aria is adjusting. She does amazing like she loves her brother. She loves him a little too much and we have to be like, don't like be easy. Like you don't have to touch him. She wants to hold him like all the time. She's just such a big help for me and I use that to my advantage. Um, and I've noticed if I ask her to help mommy out with the baby, she doesn't get as jealous. I did always say I wanted my son first, but just seeing how Aria is with Ezra, I love that I have my daughter first because she is such like a motherly like helper is getting upset so I'm gonna go spend some time with him if you guys have any other questions that I didn't answer and you guys know I'm super real and like I will let you know exactly what's up and what it is leave those in the comments below don't forget to subscribe if you are new and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos as always guys I love you and I will see you in the next one